It's Wednesday. That means it's DeFi day here at Brave New Coin. Let's take a look at some DeFi charts. I'm going to start with AXS, which isn't maybe not DeFi. I don't really know what people consider NFTs part of. I don't really consider it DeFi native per se, but it's in the realm of things that people talk about relative to DeFi. This is probably the only chart that has had considerable strength since July. This looks like the DeFi charts look like in January, basically. Since July, this thing has just skyrocketed. It certainly had a run of its own in January, retraced, and then went again, right? This is what many people, including myself early on, were hoping for on this DeFi stuff, that it was just a correction. It wasn't necessarily a complete bearish rollover. You can see you get your 5200 cross recross, tons of accumulation here. Wyckoffian esque, if I dare say so. And now you have public purchase participation mania, RSIs floating above 90 at one point in time. Definitely early signs of a bear div, definitely early signs of a fourth or fifth drive. So I would be very careful, very far away from the means here. You know, if I got in and down here, I would be more than happy to let it go in these levels. Volume hasn't come down yet, which is the next thing to watch. Watch RSI, watch volumes, watch for that bear div to continue to, to grow. Watch for this pennant on RSI to break down. That'll be the first signs of trouble on something like that. Here's the DeFi perp, which retested the breakdown point, the range. I was really hopeful that this could get back into the range at the very least. This is a index of the top DeFi coins. A lot of this is just uni, but we had this breakdown, Adam and Eve, pretty strong bounce here, and then just immediately melted. Part of the issues with crypto, especially the smaller coins, is just everything is so bipolar, partially because the participants are very emotional and bipolar themselves, but most of the charts I'm about to show are basically just ranging and echoing this. We've got a big resistance node at 10k, a smaller support node at 6k and really nothing i can point to that says this looks like something right maybe a macro inverted head and shoulders eventually kind of like the dxy but it's too early to tell on that um, this is always a cleaner inverted head and shoulders when there's a very clear diagonal because everybody know or uh, horizontal because everybody knows what to do when you break the horizontal so i don't think there's a, a clear long or short for most of this stuff uh, maker looks like it's going to get into some trouble here on this pretty obvious head and shoulders with a horizontal, which is, like I said, when this breaks, everybody knows what to do. This likely breaks down to 15 and then 800 if this uh, 2k level breaks, right? It's still too early to, to call this. Like my BNB ETH trade, until the entry uh, trigger hits, until this actually breaks down, there's no trade. People get confused when you see people talking about chart patterns, which you should always treat as a stop limit entry below support, above resistance, whatever it may be. You can always do whatever you want, you know, short this today, right now. But ultimately, the entry for the chart pattern is not until it breaks 2K 1900. Just looking at this worries me in the near term. Um, Ave's still below the 200 on the 12 hour out of the pitchfork. Again, a bit worrisome that this can't turn the corner. It does have this macro inverted head and shoulders potential, right? Like that's kind of the last line of strength. It had one here that broke up minimally. But if this breaks the uh, low for lower lows, it's in trouble along with everything else, right? Even comp has this inverted head and shoulders potential. It needs a couple weeks. But comp saw a massive bounce off that 4% news. And now it's back in the previous range, which is unusual in the group could probably argue a small falling wedge here on, on low time frames, but in general, just ranging SNX strength as well with a bounce back to the 200 on the 12 hour. And you see all of this capitulation here with on-chain liquidations, basically retraced to January open and then bounced from there. Still just ranging, nothing strong one, one way or the other. Uni kind of same thing, potentially inverted and shoulders, but mainly just down, kind of like sushi, just down. There was a mini inverted head and shoulders here that broke up. 
This really needs to break this midline to attempt to run to 14. It looked like it had a chance, along with that edge-to-edge -edge trade on the 12 hour, and that didn't happen. Um, uni is the same thing. You know, you can't tell the difference between these two productive assets, right? Uni's got 50% plus of DEX volume on any given day. Sushi's got less than 15%, and you'd have no idea based on these charts and the prices of these tokens, which is which. You know, there isn't any particularly strong aspects of this chart relative to Sushi. Everything is correlated extremely highly. Curve has also continued to break down and is potentially forming a descending triangle. I don't know what this big volume spike is about. My guess is uh, artifact on TradingView. I've, I've been seeing a lot of issues with volume spikes that aren't real on TradingView lately, so keep that in mind. Tons of support below 90 and just ranging. Really nothing to comment on here. Obviously, it's a bearish cross, so that doesn't look great. But again, if this breaks lows, it's going, it's going lower, right? Big brain TA there, but um, that's that's just what it is, you know. That's a horizontal support. If it breaks that at buck twenty-five or whatever it is, it's probably going back to the January open. Uh, Bal saw some strength off this W double bottom, January open volume support. Now it's just ranging, right? And it potentially again this diagonal inverted head and shoulders. It's going to take some time to play out. It got rejected pretty hard. Some of these like SNX and Bal. Probably saw strength because of yield farming rates went up extremely high, 15 plus percent. Those have since come down, and that's pretty obvious based on the chart here. If yields come down, more people sell it. If more people sell it, yields come down, price comes down, right? Like it's a feedback loop going on there. BNT still below the 50, just looks weak. Looks like it's headed to the volume support here between one and two, just no strength yet there. Still a mean reversion potential, like all these charts potentially are showing mean reversion like ZRX. This could still mean revert to a dollar. It's just there's no strong impetus to do so. You know, you could say with this bell chart there was a W. When you see stuff like this with a clear horizontal, then you can say, yeah, okay, I can get on board there. But with this diagonal stuff that's kind of just scrunched sideways, you know, there's just, there's no strength. The ZRX had its bounce above the 50. I just couldn't make it to a dollar along with everything else. Um, one inch kind of looks like curve where it's just descending, triangling down. One inch also had pretty high yields that have since come down. Potential bull div here in the making. Tiny, tiny bull div on volume, but this just looks like it's ready for, for lows if it breaks this horizontal. No strength really to be had. It's been sold off on every pop up. Um, melon, super noisy. This is the uh, enzyme token. Nothing to really comment on here, just massive range. There was a Coinbase listing in here, a bunch of other stuff going on. I would watch the TVL. I suspect there's some bot buying tokens based on TVL. So as the Melon uh, enzyme TVL goes up, I'd watch the price of Melon, see what happens. But that's what I suspect is going on because Melon's or enzyme has been pulling in a lot of uh, TVL recently. And Link, man. Death Cross hasn't gotten back into the pitchfork. At lows, this multi-year trend is at risk, and it just looks ugly. Does not look uh, bullish. Can't really get back to the 50 even. Can't get back into the pitchfork. If this can get back into the pitchfork, I like 50, 60 by end of year, whatever the midline is at that point in time. But if not, this might just be done, right? Along with everything else, this could just crumble, you know? I think it's too early to call that. So long as it's ranging, it's okay. Band as well, just ranging. Doesn't look great. You know, it's clearly more bearish than bullish, but hasn't broken lows yet. So across the board, not a lot of strength. Unable to hold on to any recent highs. ETH, incredible weakness recently. This is the uh, ETHPTC fund of the DeFi portfolio. If you're curious on what I'm trading, how much and when, you can check this out. Non-custodial portfolio management that I trade for Techme Capital. You can send ETH or USDC or just watch what I'm doing. Again, you can see AUM allocations performance. You can see all of the various yield farming stuff I'm holding on to. You can see all the trades I make in the trades tab. You can see me getting in and out of ETH, going into DAI, Vault, because of uh, yields are better than USDC at the moment. And this fluctuates pretty wildly. 
on any given day, but on the back end, I have the ability to, to switch this stuff around. That's all for this one. Like, dislike, comment, share, subscribe, and happy trading.